The Word of God is alive and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing us under of the soul and spirit, and of the joints and the marrow, and is a critic of the thoughts and intents of the heart. All Scripture is God-breathed and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God might be mature, thoroughly equipped unto all good works. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Deuteronomy 31, verse 6. Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear, nor be afraid of them. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Psalm 68, 5. A father of the fatherless, a defender of widows, is God in His holy habitation. Jeremiah 49, 11, Leave your fatherless children. I will preserve them alive and let your widows trust in me. 1 Peter 5, 7, Casting all your care upon Him, for He cares for you. Psalm 37, 25, I have been young and now I'm old, yet I have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his descendants begging bread. Psalm 27, 10, When my father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. Deuteronomy 4, 31, For the Lord your God is a merciful God. He will not forsake you, nor destroy you, nor forget the covenant of your fathers, which he swore to them. Isaiah 41, 17. When the poor and needy seek water, and there is none, and their tongues fail for thirst, I, the Lord, will hear them. I, the God of Israel, will not forsake them. Psalm 43, 5. When are you cast down, O my soul? And why are you disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise Him, the help of my countenance and my God. Before we start our Bible study today, as usual, we have to use the principle of 1 John 1, 9 to prepare ourselves for the study of the Word of God. Atong susihon, ang atong tagsatag sa kakalag, kung nga pa ba kita mga sala. E kung kinidili na ito, isugid nga ito sa Diyos nga mahan, may mo lamang kinibabag, they become a destruction and, uh, uh, well, it becomes uh, a barrier to our study. Therefore, atong gawin ito ng 1 John 1.9, na nagingon, if we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Now for you unbeliever, the issue you're facing is not confession of your sins, it is using your free will so you can make the most important decision in your entire life, the decision to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Acts 16.31, again on, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Acts 4.12, again on, Neither is there salvation on any other under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. Therefore, magandam tas tong kaugalingon, magampot tas sa hilong. Let us pray. Bala na mga Diyos, nagpasalamat kami kanimo ni Ning Lain o sa mga adlaw, ngay mong giipadangat ka na mo, buhi pa kami ni Ning Among Lawas, di maailan kiniyan na kapay plano 
sa among tagsa-tagsa ka kinabuhi. Salamat. Kining tanan na himo lamang gumikan sa imong gugma, imong kalooy, imong kortisya, o imong grasya, dili kami takos. O ba ni kami karon sa among pagpadayon, sa pagtuon, pagkatuon sa imong mga pulong, pinagis pagtunlo ka na mas balang Espiritu Santo, the only teacher of truth. Kining tanan na mong ipasalamatan sa ngala na Ginoy sa Kristo. Amen. Maying adlaw sa tanan na itong mga subscribers at itong mga egsoon niya ni Kristo at itong mga suki na o itong nagasunod na. Kanino mga bago, welcome. Nining atong ministry, the Vic Balbido Evangelistic Ministry. Niya na kita sa ikaw pa upat na tuwig. The fourth year sa itong ministry. And ako ka mong gidasig ka mong mga subscribers to, well, you can make some comments if you want to. Kung doon na ba ka mo yung mga ikasulti bahin sa inyong nakatunan, bahin sa itong ministry, if it has impacted your life or whatever. So, awag ka mo, gidapit ka mo. Yes, this is open to our subscribers and our friends and uh, at mga silingan. O kat-apil na ang mga dilimag totoo nga unta sila maka-amungo sa kamay nung dano nining atong gihimo uh, alang sa kayuhan sa atong kalag kay kinigrasya man nga gitanyag sa Diyos alang ka nato nga atong paimuslan. Bosa, welcome na sa abning atong pagtuon ni ining atong tunanan ng agyuluhan o the doctrine of the integrity of God. Ang pagkamasaligan sa Diyos, kini ang atong gisgutan. Well, kagahapon, diha kita muhunong ni ining mga prinsipyo ng atong pagkatukion ka ron. Here is another principle. This, by the way, kini all deal with the integrity of God. Number one, the integrity of God is infinite, absolute, and eternal. Kinibahin kini sa iyang hingpit na kinaiya. Ikaduha, ang pagmasaligan sa Dios is not the absence of sin or evil, but the sum total of His perfection. Now, we think of integrity as absence of evil, absence of sin. Apan ang pagkamasaligan sa Diyos, mao kini ang itawag dag sum total sa iyang hingpit o kahingpitan, the perfection of His attributes. Kahingpitan sa iyang mga kinaiya. Ikatulo, The integrity of God is not maintained by His rule as sovereignty. It is His immutability and unchangeable self. Dili na namang sabang Diyos. Iyang pulong, I am God, I change not. Ang tao, binimo, has to maintain His integrity, di ba? Di noon. He has to make decisions. In fact, all of life is decision making. Many, many times, ang tao has to make a decision. Of course, matagutlo si ang kinabuhi, which is for integrity or against it. Now, if you make too many decisions against your integrity, namawa ka na. You no longer have it. Gusto? It's no longer a standard sa imong kalag. And this is what is going to happen sa diha nga mawa ka ni mo ang ilang pagkamasaligan. And that implies that you maintain your integrity by your own volition. Pinagi sa imong kabuton report. And we are constantly making decisions aron ma-maintain ang atong pagka-matarong o pagka-masaligan, integrity. So, 
you can actually say that uh, ang tao, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> anaanya ng pagkamasaligan karon, but not necessarily tomorrow. Basta? And a person nga wala ni ini, wa manag iya ni ini, ang iyang pagka uh, masaligan karon by a series of decisions cannot come to have integrity. So, uh, naanad na ta to thinking of integrity in terms of decisions. Integrity in the human race sa kaliwatan sa tao kanunay yung i-maintain by decisions. Right? Kaya binimo, ang pagkamasaligan is something you do not have always. Ha? Dili man na ni mo ang konkarunay unless you always make the right decision. So, ang integrity, yung nun lang na to, integrity is something that you maintain, pinagi sa imo desisyon. Ingon nga sakop sa kaliwatan sa tao, mo man yata nga itong sagan nga ginahimo, ingon nga mga uh, kaliwatan sa tao. But not so with God. Lahi. Dili ka na. Ingon na ang Diyos. With God, it is entirely different. Now, mo naman manginahanglan ang Diyos paggamit sa iyang uh, pagkalabang makagagahong to maintain His integrity. Kaya ang integrity sa Diyos is absolute. Dili na mausab. It's immutable. It is unchangeable. Kay kanunay na naan niya. He always had it. He always will. So, samtag na. God does never have to make a decision as to whether he's going to be honest or dishonest because he cannot be anything but honest. Basta? Ang Diyos never has to make the decision as to whether he has to be righteous or unrighteous, nga naman. Kaya e kanuna yung magiging siyang righteous. So God does not have or does not use His sovereignty aron iyang ma-maintain ng iyang integrity. O busa, we are emphasizing this for a reason. Naatay katarungan. Kaya ang Diyos, hingpit siya nga ligong pagbarog. He is perfect stability. Man has instability. Kaya nga naman. He has to, because he has to constantly make a decision lagi. You see? Nagibasihan magiging paghimo ni mong decision. Ingon nga tao. You may have integrity today, but not necessarily tomorrow. Kita ni mo. O kini nag-aagad lamang sa mga desisyon nga imong himuon. Paminaw. If you are subject to uh, bribery, well, bribery sa binisaya, paghip-hip, masto? I don't know, mudangwat ka ba niya ng binisaya? If you are subject to bribery, if you are subject to influence peddling in any way, may yun ka, no, 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 that's, dili ko niya na. So, kana ito wag na to integrity ang unang unang higayon nga ikaw mo ingog yes hmm? you no longer have integrity kita nimo mawa so your integrity is maintained pinagi sa imong kabubuton and it can it can be lost and it cannot be recovered busa There is a certain instability in human integrity. Kanon ay yun. It's a matter of volition, 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 volition. Kita ni mo. So, ato tasa punto numero tres. Point number three is extremely important. Pod kaya ano man? Tungod kay samtang kita as creatures. Dili kita ligun ang itong pagbarog. We are unstable. God cannot and never be unstable. Kita ni mo? Kung ni mo itandi ka sa Diyos. 
E nga naman, tutuk kira gunang isiyas, 55, 89. Ang sagi sa Diyos, kung bahay na kining in, pagka uh, instab, instability na to, ingon ng mga tao, ang Diyos is always stable. Kung sa mga sulti lagi niya sa isiyas, 55, 89. My thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways your ways saith the Lord, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Na. Sa may pag-unstable sa Diyos. Lambaw siya sa tanan. God cannot and never be unstable. And there lies the, uh, our temporal and eternal and perfect security. We noted this, Ubos sa konsepto sa pagkasiguro. Under the concept of security. Okay? At ito tayo sa punto numero 4. The integrity of God is not maintained by self-righteousness of man. Dili. Yan ang mga tao na guna-una that if they sin or fail in a certain way, that God is in disgrace. Did you know that? There are a lot of Christians wandering around that say that. Na, nagasulti niya na. That mo'y ilang hula-hula. Kay kinibuhata, ibaw ka, you dishonor the Lord. Sabtag na. It is impossible to dishonor the Lord. The Lord is not subject to this honor. And that is a misnomer that we hear a lot of times. So and so has dishonored the Lord. You're kidding yourself. It's a piece of arrogance on your part to think that something you can do can hinder God's plan. Or in somehow dishonor God. Dili ni mo mahunong ang plano sa Diyos. Oy, you cannot. God's plan is going to go through you, around you, or over you. Apan dili ni mo mahunong ka na. Kasabot ka. You cannot stop it. And the idea that you failed does not mean that God failed you. Ayaw ginag-ingon ayaw ginag niya na. Okay, that's point number four. And to this point number five. Usaka da kung pa si Pala to assume that self-righteousness or unrighteousness promotes divine integrity. Now, neither self-righteousness nor unrighteousness makapromote sa Diyos nun nga integrity. Kaya binimo, we have to get away from this idea that as infiltrated Christianity that we are promoting God. Now, there are certain things we can promote. We can promote soap, sabun ba, and a certain type of gasoline, and an automobile. And we can do promote ourselves. Or we can promote other people. Apan, we cannot promote God. Never. Arrogant kini pagka mapaitas on kining buhata. And it is ingrained arrogance that has become a part of Christianity falsely. It's blasphemous. Bala, dako kining pa si pala to assume. That self-righteousness, ang iyong pagkamatarong sa mong kaugalingon, or unrighteousness, either one of them, promotes divine integrity. Ang Diyos noon nga pagkamasaligan, divine integrity, does not stand or fall on what we do, or what we think, or what we say. Dili. Kaya binimo, kini na kaulugan. This is going to be significant later on sa diha nga madiskubrihan nato nga 
unsa atong hinahuna, unsa atong hidahom, unsa atong ibuhat, unsa atong isulti, when it's dependent upon divine integrity, then it becomes meaningful. It does not promote God, but God promotes us. Kita ni mo? See? It's the other way around. Mami na. We cannot promote God. God can promote us. Tanawa gina. Sabta gina. So mo na ikalima, ang ikaw nom. Nagaingon ang ikaw nom nga. Divine righteousness totally rejects man's self-righteousness. Na, hingpit yun. Nagisalikway sa Diyos. Nga pagkamatarong niya, isalikway ang pagkamatarong sa tao. Ikapito, ang Diyos pinagi sa grasya, nagasangkap sa tanan that His integrity demands of the human race. Hangtod nga imo masabtan that one sentence then you do not understand grace. Wa gyud ni mo masabtan bahin sa grasya. Ikawalo. Consequently, there is nothing man can do to destroy or compromise the integrity of God. Repeat. There is nothing man can do to destroy or compromise the integrity of God. Gani, sa matag higayon, we get out of line. Nansaman, nansaman ang higayon na. Kung magkasala ta, tang-tang na po ng atong fellowship with God. Ang Diyos, diha-diha, mo disiplina ka na to. And there is His integrity. Hita ni mo? Disiplina ahon ta. Kaya mga anak, manta niya. Whom God loveth, He chasteneth. Now, we have not destroyed this integrity. We have become recipients of it in a rather uncomfortable and painful way. Sakit. Ano pa agi? Now, kung bahay na sa usaka magtutuong nga reversionista, na unsa man yung reversionista, Katong nagapatuyang na lang yun sa paglunang sa kasalanan, ngawa na lang yun sila manumbaling sa pagsugid niya na sa Diyos, mahagbong yun na siya. Of course, karnal, mahogan na pagka-reversionista kung magapatuyang sila niya na ilang kahintang. So, the reversionistic believer gets warning discipline. Pasidan na sila sa Diyos. Then, kung di paghihapon mo patuo, intensive discipline. Mao ni ang sequence, warning discipline, intensive discipline, and eventually, don't sa, he gets the sin unto death, dying discipline. Kita ni mo? Now, ako malikon nga ang Dios, wa kawad e sa iyang pagka masaligan. He has not lost his integrity. In fact, God has used his integrity. Iyang gigamit. And He uses His integrity either sa pagpanlangin or sa pagtunglo. Either to bless or to curse. Busa, ang ustisya sa Diyos, mao ang tinubdya, tinubdan of both blessing and cursing. Kita ni mo? Apan ang Diyos never loses His integrity. And there is nothing that man can do sa pagguba o pagkompromiso sa iyang integrity. Either you are blessed or you are receiving discipline. But you have not compromised divine integrity. You have been the beneficiary of it, whichever it goes. Nasabtan na rin mo itong akong tinaw niyo mo. So, okay, sunda gini. Karon ang tutasi kasiyam. Ang kinaiya sa Diyos, the essence of God, nagalakip kini sa iyang integrity. Of course, nagalakip sa iyang pagkamasaligan. O ang iyang pagkamasaligan, nagabarog eternally without any help from mankind. Wala. Paminaw. God 
just simply does not need our help. We need His. Kadungog ka? God does not simply need our help. What? He does not need our help. Kung ibalik ni, never has, never will. Busa, ang kinaiya sa Diyos, nagalakip sa iyang pagkamasaligan. O gang iyang kinaiya, nagabarog sa way pag uh, unsa uh, without any help from mankind. Wala. Uy, mahimo ang tao. Uy. So, mauna ikasiyam. At doon ta si ka napulo. Uh, kung mali ko ni, God does not need our help. We need His help. So, ang Diyos, huwa manginahanglan sa atong pagkamatarong. Nanginahanglan kita sa iyong pagkamatarong. Kita ay nagkinahanglan. This is an amplification as you can see. God does not need our help. We need His help. God does not need our righteousness. We need His righteousness. Muna ikan na po. Karwan na ito tayo ikan na aga unse. Imputed righteousness. Unsa man ang imputed righteousness? Ang pagkamatarong sa Diyos nga giisip nga ito sa magtutuo. At, uh, at the point of salvation. Kining imputed righteousness at salvation is the beginning of blessings from the justice of God. Mauna yung sinugranan. Now, sa diha nga atong mapanag-iya ang iyang pagkamatarong, we have a basis doon na natin basihan sa atong pagdawat na unyang mga panalakin, panalangin gigan sa Diyos. Mauna yung kaunsi. At ito si Kaduse, imputed righteousness hmm, is where God begins to share His integrity with mankind. Iyan ang ipaambit, ang iyong pagkamasaligan, nga ito sa katawahan. Ikatrese, ang Diyos nakakaplag o paagi sa pagpanalangin sa tao without compromising His essence, and that is the Great One. Ang Diyos can actually bless sinful man without compromising His essence. Kita ni mo? We know why, of course, na ibaw ta. Now, of course, na hinumdong ka sa upat ka mga daggo ng mga pag-isip, great imputations. At ito na si ka-14, God did not do this from human sentimentality or emotion. Wala ni basihi sa Diyos ang iyong pagbuhat ni ini gumikan sa tawahan ng mga pagbati. No. And God is not emotionally attracted to pleasing personalities. Kasabot ka? Wala. Di li siya makanang makumbinsir. Di siya ma... Siya, tandog. Uh, he is not emotionally attracted to pleasing personalities. Kaya binimo na idaghang mga tao assume, they assume that the Christian way of love is improving your personality. <laughs> What a joke. Dili oy. Oy labot ang imong personalidad. You may have an obnoxious personality. And once you're born again, what you must have is a pleasing personality. Now, what's this? Bantayini. There is a heresy going around that pleasing personality is the Christian way of life. What a joke. Wala labot ang personalidad kung bahin na sa pahagis pag ka ng kinabuhing Kristuhanon. Wala. Ikakinsi. Man often concludes that his self-righteousness pleases God. Narabagin eh. Ang konklusyon nga mahimus tao nga ang iyang pagkamatarong kunuhay magkapahimuot sa Diyos. But what about that verse that says that all of our righteousnesses are as filthy rags to God? Saan mo na? Ang atong tanan nga mga Uh, pagmaayo 
Pagkamatarong na itong tauhanon, gitandi man ka na sa mga hugawang trapo ng ito sa tutubangan sa Diyos. Sixteenth, neither man's sinfulness nor a man's self-righteousness advances the glory of God. Wala. So, ano ay prinsipyo? Nga may ito nga. Nga may kalabutan kini sa atong atong gisgutan nga kapitulo and it is this. Divine integrity advances the glory of God. That is the principle. Prinsipyo na. And we might add then, only God can glorify God. May nung danon pag ayaw ka ng maong prinsipyo. Ang Diyos ra ang makapanalangin o makahimaya sa Diyos. And with that then, we have a development of the principle, only God can glorify God. Okay. First of all, only what God has provided, man in grace can glorify God. Number two, any member of the human race, bisa kinsang sakop sa kaliwatan sa tao, nga uh, dili manumbaling sa iyang personal sense as a manifestation of spiritual death, at the same time presents his self-righteousness to God for salvation, has neither or no respect for the authority of God, hence the integrity of God. Ang otoridad sa Diyos, gibasihan kini sa iyang pagkamasaligan. God's integrity. But let me tell you something else. There is the key to authority in life. All authority in life is based on integrity. Sabot ka? And the malfunction of authority in life is lack of, in, of integrity. Pagkakuwang sa pagkamasaligan. Now, ang mga ginikanan who lack integrity hmm, malfunction in dealing with their children. Gusto? O ang magkalimaw. Kaya abinin mo, doon ay mga ginikanan who do not know how to establish their authority with their children. Wa sila lamang. Nga naman. Tungod kay it is not coming from their integrity. And it does not make any difference whether they are believers or unbelievers. Parayara. Huwag ang mga, mag, uh, kanang mga ginikanan are constantly restricting and restraining and punishing their children unfairly. Why angay-angay? Or, they are not punishing them at all. <laughs> Kasabot ka ba? Na ay mga ginikanan nga walang yun. Walang yun sila eh. Pagpanton sa ilang mga anak. You spoil your children by not punishing them when necessary. Basta? But you see, the in-between, the integrity is always fair. Integrity is always just. And therefore, integrity knows when to punish and when not to. So when to use one's authority and when not to. All true authority is based. Gibasihan kini sa pagkamatarong, pagkamasaligan. And all men who had used their authority in a great way, do na sila great integrity. Niyang ikatulor, nagaingon kini, maladjustment to the justice of God. Nagahulugan kini, no relationship with the integrity of God. And ang maladjustment can come through pinagi sa sala, good or evil. Mao ni ang mga trends sa genetic signature. Numdong ka? Mao hinungdan. Do na tayo doktrina. That is why we have the word. That is why we have pastor teachers. Pastor magtutudlo. That is why we have classrooms, ang mga kasimbahanan where God's word is being taught, 
That is why we have evangelistic ministries. Like this, nga diyan ang may balita sa kaluwasan o ang pulong sa Diyos, Bible doctrine is being taught and explained nga dito sa mga magtutuo. Pamino, all of these things are designed by one purpose in mind. To learn to do it God's way. Sabot ka? Di nilang una kita kutub ka ron o gantong ipadayo ni Ugma. Atong tukion ang bahin sa pagkamasaliga ni Ginoong Iso Kristo. The integrity of Christ. Magampo ta. Amahan na mong langit nun. Pasalamat kami kanimu niningi. Mung grasya nga mong ipahimuslan sa imong pagkamatinumanon sa imong mga saad. Salamat ang among pagkatoon sa dugang pang mga prinsipyo bahin sa imong pagkamasaligan. Wala kami lain nga gisaligan kundi li ikaw pinagi sa imong integrity. Salamat o Diyos ni ining among pagtuon ni ini na huwag ka kinimahin mong panalangin dugang sa among doktrinang nakatunana nga mo nang napundo din sa among right lobe of the mentality of our soul. Salamat sa among pagtuon sa among pulong pinagi sa Vic Malbido Evangelistic Ministry. Kining tanan among ibasalamatan sa ngala ni Ginoong Hesukristo among bugtong manluwas. Amen. <music>